Holy smokes. I mean, can you imagine what's happening right now? I mean, the Republicans must be just having fits of uh, anxiety attack because just as the Republican debates are discussing things like this Obama character wants to make America a model of socialist European states and all this wealth redistribution and class warfare and all this stuff, over in Europe, the richest people of the world, 2,000 of billionaires, movers, shakers, heads of state, of governments, are coming to the conclusion that possibly capitalism, the way it is, might not be working. That maybe social programs and wealth redistribution might have to be implemented to keep people from rising up in the Occupy movement and uh, things getting really nasty for the rich and the ultra-rich, the uber-rich. So, is capitalism failing? What do you think? Should there be some thought about wealth redistribution? Should companies have to pay tax? I mean, if you listen to uh, Mr. Mitt Romney, and I think his, isn't his name Willard? But anyway, Mitt Romney, he would rather not even pay any tax. I mean, he did have to pay that 13 point some odd percent tax on his uh, $20 million income, but he'd rather not pay tax. And there's people that think, well, if he doesn't pay tax, there's going to be more jobs created because that's what happens is these wealthy people, they create jobs. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that if you look around the United States right now, the only people that are paying tax are the poor and the working and the working class. Recently, it was revealed that 30 of the biggest United States companies paid little or no tax whatsoever for the year 2008 to 2010. As a matter of fact, they spent more on lobbying in Washington to influence the lawmakers than they spent paying taxes. Do you believe that? I mean, doesn't it sound ridiculous when you hear all this rhetoric about that, like, you know, corporations are being taxed at 35% and they're like, you know, that's way too much and they're going to keep their wealth outside of the United States. And if they, you know, if they, there's no more tax cuts, well, there's not going to be any jobs created. What is the truth? I guess the truth is what's written down on tax forms and that these companies made $164 billion profit while not paying taxes. As a matter of fact, they paid $476 million for lobbyists. So, who's the dummy now, I ask? Who's the dummy? Think about it. If you look around the United States right now, you take a look at the highways, you take a look at the military, you take a look at all the infrastructure and everything that the governments pay for, you know who's paying for that? Ordinary Joe Blow taxpayers. It's not corporations, they're not contributing to it. It's the taxpayers. So tell me, when's the last time you heard a Republican at one of the debates, or even President Obama on his big State of the Union speech, stand up and say, thank you. Thank you, American people, for paying, for making all this possible. Because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have a military. We wouldn't have highways. We wouldn't have bridges. Because you're the ones that are paying the taxes. It sure the hell isn't the corporations. They're too busy buying their executive jets, going on their golf vacations, buying the big corporate yachts, etc., etc., etc. You know, all the things that they must have. Rather than being a part of society, a, bar, a part of the country. No, instead Obama brings up this story about how after World War II, you know, when soldiers returned home, there was all this prosperity the middle class was building. Well, duh. Europe was wiped out. It was a, a wasteland. Same with Japan, Asia. China didn't even figure into the 20th century at that time. So, of course, if Americans were moving ahead and they wanted to buy a fridge, stove, anything, cars, whatever, they were made in America. They were smelters smelting the iron, the steel, and factories were pumping things out. But along came good old capitalism, and capitalism thought that, hey, look, you know how we could maximize our profits? There's these other countries, emerging markets, shall we call them, where there's really low labor costs. Now, can you imagine if we built this fridge for a quarter of the cost, but still sold it for the same price? Man, we're going to make a ton of money. So one by one, as things progressed along, factories started moving abroad. But that meant that even a good corporate uh, 
company, one that wanted to be part of America, they had a choice. Either they move with the other companies or they get pushed out of business. So slowly companies moved abroad, Mexico, Taiwan, Japan, wherever. Now America has become a consumer society. Black Monday, Black Friday, Black Week, Black everything. Buy, buy, buy. You know, there's not great jobs. Jobs are getting cut. There's austerity. There's going to be unions done away with less wages, less opportunities. But you've got to be a consumer. Credit. Buy on credit. Buy any which way. Buy, buy, buy. Build the economy. Because what's happened now is that if American consumers aren't buying, things get even worse. But the only thing is, how do you buy when you don't have money? It's a catch-22 situation, and this is escalating, and it's not only in America. It's happening in Europe, it's happening in Canada, it's happening in Asia, it's happening around the world. There's less money out there, but you need consumers to buy the goods that are still being produced. Even China's economy is starting to slide because people aren't buying, and if Europe goes into a recession, China's going to be even slipping even more. We're facing a big crisis of financial magnitude like you haven't believed. It's just starting. A year ago, I made a video talking about the de decade of discontent. It's on YouTube. Google decade of discontent on my YouTube channel. You can see it. it you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Things aren't going to improve anytime soon. A whole new way of thinking has to come out, and it can't be brought out by the same people that caused this mess. We have to all be involved in it. At least, that's the way I see it. Thank you.